concept of time uh, resonates quite strongly with me. A few years ago, I became interested in the subject of horology, as the study of time. It is precision engineering for a start. You take the watch, you take something that wasn't working, it, it was broken, and the satisfying thing is it works again. Well, contrary to popular belief, not everybody is a walking, talking genius. When I was at university and school, my performance was not exemplary, and it wasn't really until I got about halfway through university that I realised if I wanted to be at the forefront of technology, I had to uh, um, buckle down. And I found that hard work can get you a very long way. Working at, in Flight Dynamics at Inmarsat, uh, allows me to study time in a practical sense. Just recently, we had to add a second into uh, what's called Coordinated Universal Time, UTC. It doesn't sound like it's important, adding an extra second, but it is because it keeps the sun in the same place in the sky every day. You, you can't teach it. You have to experience it, you have to learn by experience. Uh, and that is figuring out where the satellite is in its orbit. If we believe our satellite to be in a certain place and it's one second off when the leap second is applied, that's a total of three kilometers, uh, which is significant when you are coordinating your location um, performing collision avoidance with other operators. I'm Neville, I'm a flight dynamicist and a horologist. <laughs>